guys, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today, I'm going to use a Celtic cross spread to get some important messages for you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn today. lovers at the bottom of the deck and i'll be clarifying this card with a different deck here so we've got the ten of swords here this is sitting in your past position so this may indicate an ending some sort of betrayal painful ending um but let's clarify ten of swords yeah that could have led you to closing your heart chakra so six of cups for me is an indication of you thinking about the past perhaps a sense of nostalgia in regards of a connection in the past i feel like with the three of cups here in my verse there is this energy of a lot of you on the three of cups in my verse not really socializing as much as you used to okay or not dating as much as you used to just focusing on your work here with the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is you right virgo taurus capricorn it's an earth sign and i feel like the only obstacle from uh the, the only obstacle that is blocking you from meeting somebody new or meeting the right person is you yourself <laughs> with the queen of pentacles perhaps for some of you you know pentacles can indicate career work a lot of you could be you know burying yourself with work possibly not having the time but also at the same time with the four pentacles here it feels like you could be um blocking a heart chakra maybe you don't want to get hurt again because there's a lot of uh, memories here with the six of cups let's clarify the six of cups here yep see you're working a lot <laughs> eight of pentacles and then we've got the eight of wands here check out your angel number 88 if you guys would like to you can just google 88 um angel number there could be some there could be some important messages for you over there but also i feel like earth signs for Taurus and capricorn this may be an indication of somebody returning to you and wanting to work on this connection and that they would like to send you a message with the eight of wands or it could be you thinking about returning to somebody working on that connection and having this communication with them again it could go vice versa so we've got these six of swords here something about returning yeah it could be somebody returning there's definitely two cards that for me indicates a return but it may not always mean that it could also indicate you constantly thinking about the past because the hurt and the pain was really bad right ten of swords here that could have caused an ending between you and somebody whom you could be dealing with uh somebody whom you could have been dealing with in the past okay because again this is sitting in your past position but let's clarify three of cups and of those Yep, number four for wands here indicates home. A lot of you could be staying home a lot um, or could be considering and working towards being able to work from home. That's for some of you. And the page of cups here and love first can be an indication of you having dealt with a lot of immature people, especially when it comes to your romantic life. Let's clarify six of swords here okay so this six of swords i feel like it has it's leading towards more of you wanting to close out the old chapter and starting a new chapter but there could be some fear here with the nine of wands fear of change perhaps having your guards up for some of you it's fear of change in regards to your career and for some of you it's fear of change um in regards to love again 
<clears throat> excuse me, four of pentacles here just indicates you just afraid to let somebody into your life, afraid that they're gonna hurt you, right? Let's see the six of pentacles in one verse. This is sitting in your you position. So Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, you just have been way too generous, way too kind. Um, you always try to put yourself in other people's shoes. You're somebody very empathetic, but six of pentacles in one verse, I feel like you want to change that, okay? For a lot of you, you could be thinking about, you know, I'm only giving to people who deserve my attention, my time, my effort. Let's clarify Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised to see the Hermit here. Uh, this is a Virgo energy, but it's you anyway. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth signs, okay? So the Hermit here indicates you becoming wiser. You are somebody much, much, much wiser than before. You've been doing a lot of reflecting, soul searching. And for some of you, you could be looking for an answer, okay? Looking for something. You could be in the dark right now. And in regards of a certain situation in your life, some of you could be work. It could be love. I'm searching for the Ace of Pentacles here for a new beginning, a new beginning that is solid. Some of you, if this has something to do with career, perhaps you could be looking into your career, trying to make some changes or start something new here. It could be going back to studies uh, or it could be starting a new business or just literally changing your career. But Ace of Pentacles, um, when it comes to love, this may be an indication of you looking for somebody whom is solid, okay? Somebody whom you can see being uh, spending the rest of your life with because the pentacle is a very solid energy right an offer of a new beginning that is solid and i feel like a lot of you are just sick and tired with the three of cups here in reverse either being put in a third party situation being betrayed going through a lot of painful endings here or one specific painful ending so we've got the knight of pentacles in love first we are going to uh, clarify knight of pentacles in love first yeah i feel like a lot of you may have fear in something from your past either returning or something from your past repeating itself okay so two of swords here a lot of you could be just you know again the hermit can be quite a lonely energy as well it could be keeping to yourselves uh your thoughts your feelings or just being single for a while because we've also got a single card here with the nine of pentacles so again you've got two cards that are actually indicating you blocking your heart chakra right four pentacles and the two of swords here hmm. and nine of pentacles could be you enjoying your singlehood or your independence whether you're in a relationship or not you can still be independent um I feel like a lot of you are kind of pulling yourself away from uh, <laughs> falling in love with somebody or being too attached. So we've got the Ten of Wands here in my verse. So let's clarify. Oops. Okay. So you've got the Seven of Swords in my verse. Another Six of Cups. This fell on the floor. Okay. So Spirit's definitely saying this is sitting in your advice position, right? Ten of Wands in my verse is an indication of burden but these are the burdens that you don't have to carry spirit saying seven of swords here and one first can be an indication of a certain person in your life whom you may have already seen their true colors in some way shape or form i feel like um uh, spirit's trying to say also six of cups here this person is going to return or send you a message you've got already two six of cups so for some of you when the two cards exactly the same cards that came up uh this may be an indication of you and your person could be mirroring each other okay perhaps you miss this person this person misses you as well um this may not be a romantic relationship this could also be a friendship okay or anybody um it could be your sibling it could be co-worker anybody okay but I definitely sense there's this energy of if whoever you've been missing right now Virgo Taurus and Capricorn um this person is also missing you okay because we've got the devil here you guys have got this real this bond <laughs> this bond that I feel like you can never quite shake it off right but the devil also can indicate fear insecurities in regards to the past the past where you know people whom could have betrayed you lied to you cheat on you okay 
But Spirit's definitely saying with eternal wants yet more first, you don't have to stay in that position, right? You have a choice to let it go with it being in world first here. So two of wands is in world first. We're gonna clarify the two of wands. Yeah. So with the two of wands in my verse indicates a choice. For a lot of you have to see you making a choice to try and be positive, trying to see the glass half full than it is half empty because of the five of cups here in my first. So that means, you know, when it's in the upright position, you're still facing or mulling over the past. But I see you eventually are gonna let that part go. Any sorts of negativities, negative thinking, and just trying to make the best out of what you have right now, okay? And to move forward and we've also got the nine of wands i see somebody coming into your life this person could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo most likely he or she is younger than you are and i feel like when you meet this person you are going to feel much more positive perhaps this person is also going to be making you feel special making you feel like uh making you feel attractive yeah somebody's gonna make you feel really really attractive in the near future here but um i feel like there will still be some lingering energy from your past with the six of cups here right these two six of cups lingering energy in regards of is, is this person a player is this person gonna do what they did like your past people do what they did to you in the past but for some of you maybe this is a return from someone as well with the knight of wands from somebody return of somebody from your past right but it could also be somebody completely new let's see more I'm seeing you traveling, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The chariot and a wheel of fortune for me indicates travel. So you are going to be traveling in the future. Some of you, it's you meeting somebody while you're traveling. Uh, the chariot for me indicates you making a really, really important move in your life. I see that happening in the near future. But for each and every one of you, it's different because the wheel of fortune indicates divine timing as well. When the right time, when the time is right, I see you making really, really big moves. For some of you, it's traveling. For some of you, it's moving. Because uh, again, the chariot, it's uh, a form of transportation. So it could be you moving home or it could be you moving towards a different path different career a different relationship or will of fortune sometimes can indicate a second chance some of you it's you giving a second chance to somebody from your past returning unless the chariot here you know it could also indicate you just moving forward victoriously so there's this successful big change that is coming up for you guys perhaps you've been thinking a lot about it and uh, it's been brewing and I definitely see you doing it, doing it eventually, right? Because the chariot and the wheel of fortune, these two cards are major kana. So that means you're going to make a very major change in your life. Um, and with the wheel of fortune, definitely indicates a very, very positive change for a lot of you. And also with the seven of wands here and what first, I see a lot of you just letting go, no longer fighting for certain things that don't serve your highest good anymore. And with the lovers indicates a choice. So you've got a choice to do. If you want to make this change, you have a choice to do so. But the lovers also can indicate a romantic connection. So some of you, it's you coming together with somebody, being physically intimate with somebody. Or again, it could be an indication of reconciliation, getting back together with somebody. Six of cups, you know, it, it could always, it, it can indicate somebody returning. But at the same time, um, it could also indicate a soulmate connection. For some of you, this could be you. Uh, traveling home back to where you used to live or you know just um, um, I would say coming together with somebody you have known before in your past um, it could be a friend it may not always mean a romantic partner right it's something a sense of nostalgia a lot of you will be experiencing something that or thinking about wanting to experience something you've experienced before in the past because you still have very fond memories in regards to that it could be food it could be um, traveling to that country could be anything or meeting up with your friend a long lost friend six of cups can indicate that all right virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with um 
videos on the screen right now these videos are from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i'll leave you with a uh playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions um and they're still new so check it out um click on it scroll all the way down look for your sign there could be some other important messages for you over there and uh, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care. Bye.